We all hate installing software, manually searching, downloading, clicking next a hundred times, but what if you could install everything instantly with one tool? That's where UniGet UI comes in. Today I'm putting it to the test with three real world challenges, installing a must have app, bulk updating outdated software and uninstalling junk. Can it really save time? Let's find out. First of all, if you really want to try out UniGet UI, I will leave a link to GitHub page in the video description below where you can download the EXE installer right here under the releases link. Down there, you will find the latest release and here down below, you will find the EXE installer. Here, you can pick whichever version you prefer and UniGet UI is formerly known as Vinget UI. So I highly recommend UniGet UI, by the way. However, the most recommended way to install the UniGet UI on your computer is via the Microsoft Store. So I will also put the Microsoft Store link in the video description. Now, once you have it installed, you will see a screen which looks something like this. And now on top, you will find Discover Packages. This option right here will act as a browser where you will find a ton of the applications which you want to of course install on your computer for example you would search for google chrome you will search for vlc maybe you will even search for 7-zip and many other applications you use on your computer it's that easy using this application now on the next menu here is software updates now this program is really handy where it comes to the updates because you can bulk update every single application which is outdated Updated. And you can also see here the source and currently every single app I have outdated is from the Vinget source. And then down below, you can also uninstall any other application you also have installed on your computer. And for every app which needs an update, you will see this icon with the arrow pointing upwards. So this means that the app has an update. And then down below, you will also find settings and you can go under general preferences and you will see here the system language and other settings like the telemetry settings and for example you can also go here under the startup options and you can also have uh, this app launch at startup when you turn on your computer and then down below you will also find the update preferences so you can for example check for updates every 10 minutes and you can also change this to for example to one week and update apps weekly then down below you can also see package managers which this app actually supports and these are winget scoop chocolatey npm pip Cargo, VC, PKG, NetTool, PowerShell 5, and PowerShell 7. So you can pretty much see that there is a lot of the support for the package managers in this application. Now let's get the first thing out of the way, and this is install a must have app. And I will install Google Chrome. So here I will go to discover packages, and here on top, I will search for Google Chrome. You can click here on the loop icon to search the library, and now after the search, you can see here how many of the sources it actually found. Here we have Winget, Chocolatey and PowerShell 5. And then down below, you can also see this presented right here under the source. Now here I'll click on Google Chrome and now we can even install this application by clicking install selected packages or you can also click this option right here and this will install this application as administrator. Now next option is called skip integrity checks and the next one further is called interactive installation. Now, if you click on this, now you'll have to add admin rights to the UniGet UI. So here I'll click on yes. And let's see what will happen right now with our Google Chrome installation. And now the Google Chrome is successfully installed using the UniGet UI. Now, let me search for Chrome here if it really is installed on the computer. So here it is, as you can see, new and Google Chrome. Now, I installed an app using the interactive installation. But right now, let's try just this simple way to install a selected package. So here I will search for another app, which I think it's really cool. And this one is VLC. And here I'll click on the loop icon. And now it found also a few more sources like Winget, Chocolatey and Power. PowerShell 5. Here, I think I will go with this one, Winget and the Winget, so VLC Media Player. And right now, when I have this selected, you can install here selected package. And you will also once again have to accept the admin prompt here. And let's see how fast this will install 
the application. And now the VLC media player is installed. Let's search here for it in the start menu. So VLC, and as you can see, we already have VLC media player installed. Now there's another option to install applications using the UniGet UI. And this means to create a package bundle. So for example, I can search here for 7-zip and let's add this first one to the bundle. So just like this, and now we have to wait for it. And now let's go back to discover packages. And here I will search for, let's say, Qubit Torrent. And now we can also click here on the first app, Qubit Torrent, and we can also add selection to the bundle. And now we can, for example, select this check mark and click here, install selection. And this will install both of these two apps on your computer. So it's that easy to install apps using UniGet UI. We've pretty much done this first part, install a must have app. I will mark it with the slash. And now let's try to bulk update outdated software. Now to update software on your computer, usually you'll have to go into every single app and then there check for the updates. Now using the UniGet UI, you can simply click here on software updates. And here you'll pretty much find every single app which is outdated. And now you can click here, update selected packages. And this here, as you can see, will install a brand new version of the outdated software. And now I can also check mark the bulk update outdated software because it's that easy to update the software using the UniGet UI. Now let's talk about the uninstallation of the packages. So here you'll also find an option installed packages. And then you can here, for example, uninstall whichever app you want. You can pretty much do the same, which if you go to the settings and uninstall an app from there, but using this application, you can also do the same right here. For example, we can uninstall Windows Calculator and maybe let's try Windows Camera as well. And let's say that we don't want the Xbox app as well. And let's try one more, which I I think is Microsoft Edge. No, I think you cannot remove Microsoft Edge from your computer, but let's find out together here if the UniGet UI is able to uninstall it. So here I will just click on uninstall selected packages. And here we have to confirm. So do you really want to uninstall the following four packages? Microsoft Edge, Windows Calculator, Windows Camera, and Xbox. Here I'll click on yes, and let's see what will happen here. Now the uninstallation also finished but we can see here the message Microsoft Edge uninstall that it could not be uninstalled. So yeah, you cannot really remove the Microsoft Edge from Windows 11 at the moment. But the updates actually went through, so we don't have any more updates for our programs. So yeah, we can also check mark the uninstall junk option here as well. So we've pretty much completed all three tasks we had to do. So yeah, I think this is pretty much it for this video and for UniGet UI. Now overall, I think UniGet is a really cool tool where you can pretty much find a lot of the packages to install to your computer and it really does save some time and that you don't have to go through the hassle to downloading the installers and then installing the everything single application separately on your computer. So with that said, I think this is pretty much it. I will leave a link for UniGet UI app in the video description. Make sure that you like this video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And with that said, if you guys need a brand new wallpaper, you guys can check out this wallpaper and many others by clicking the link in the video description below. Have an amazing rest of your day and I will see you all around in the next video. Peace.